Hey guys, it's Kyle, the Fenji Gus. We're about to take a nice hike up this big hill. This leads us up to a top of a mountain. It took us about a mile and a half to get up here. And this road here is about two miles. So we're gonna take a slow, nice uh, hike up here, around two miles, and uh, see what's on top. But Sanji Gus is doing good. As you can see, he's a little bit tired from walking. Um, but he was anxious to get out. He was excited for me to get home, and uh, now we're back at it. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you soon. Good boy. Good boy. You all done? So it's a pretty steep hill. Like I said, it's like two miles. And uh, it gradually gets steeper. But the view on top is amazing. So it's worth it. And uh, of course we got a man right here. Good company. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to everybody. Oh yeah. <sighs> so this road used to be an old ski hill. I think it was like emergency hill for the quads and the vehicles to go up and help. And uh, there's actually, I used to run this. I haven't ran it in a while or jog it. What you smelling? And actually there's a record of the time from the bottom down there all the way to the top. of uh, how fast people do it. It's like the record is like five minutes, seven minutes, something like that. Um, never tried to beat that, but um, yeah, it's a challenge, that's for sure. It's a challenge hiking. Look at these two little eyes right here on the pole and the mouth. Oh, you. you. Very humid today. I think it got to 85 with humidity. It's been kind of bad lately, so I try not to get him out earlier in the day because it's too hot. Even now, it's a little bit iffy, but the pavement up here has been in the shade, so it's not too bad for his paws. Um, but uh, yeah a cool overcast afternoon right now and it's quiet I haven't seen really anybody um, not a lot of people want to hike this hill at this time of night I guess we're getting steeper hope you guys like these videos I'm trying to do the best I can and uh, we're gonna do some more camping we're gonna do camping ones we're gonna do some lunches together with our bush buddy and uh, I have a lot of cool ideas and just gotta take it slow and uh, keep working hard at it I just love being out here with him and of course he loves it hey right, Gus how you doing Gus? how you doing? Gus, Gus boy, can you sit? Sit boy, sit. Let's see here, what do I got here? You gotta sit.
Let's sit. Stay. We're getting there. About a quarter of the way up. Walking backwards. Because he's gonna stop and get some more water here in a minute. I'm just looking out for some wildlife. Hopefully, see some deer or sometimes I see an owl up here at times. Hear crickets, frogs. Beautiful. A little bit buggy, but sprayed down before. It's not 100%. Okay. So we're about halfway, and the halfway point is a uh, important stop. Um, being a military veteran myself, there's a memorial here that sits about the middle of the trail, and uh, I like to stop and uh, show my appreciation and uh, uh, just a little respect for uh, these guys. Um, 1946 at 10:30 p.m. B-17 Flying Fortress bringing 25 servicemen crash at this site. No one survived. Dedicated to them. 1996. Dedication. Should have probably been a very scary uh, feeling. And here are some of the parts. Here are some of the parts here. Some of the metal, rusted parts that was found over the years, parts of the plane. So we're almost at the top. Hope you can see me and Gus, Gus and I, uh, about three quarters of the way up, and uh, we'll see you on top. A couple hundred feet from the top. It's been a good hike. Real sticky. Um, I love seeing that memorial halfway through here. I can't imagine what those guys were going through plane hitting a mountain out of out of nowhere in the dark it's just it gives me chills and you just never know you know that's why you gotta just try to relax and hit nature and soak it all in and get connected the best way you can you know A mosquito buzzing in my ear. Alright. Almost there, guys.
Good boy. Good boy. Who's that good boy over there? Hey. There he is. Hi guys. We made it. We'll get us up here a little bit. A little sweaty. There's our man, he's doing good. Right around the bend is uh our destination. There we go. Bud. Hello, bud. He wants to go already. Take a break. Take a break. Hey, come here. Hey. Too close to the edge. Hey, you. Hey. You want this? Gus! Cookie! Sit! Sit! Good boy! Good boy! So it took us about 30 minutes to get up here. Take a little bit of a break, finish our snack. Get a couple other spots over there and I'll show you something. Get that salt. One on piece? You're spoiled.
is that? It's a big fall. Oh, that was nice. Nice evening hike. Had a good time. We got to trek all the way back down two and a half miles and uh, a little bit easier going down. Probably not the greatest for your joints, but we'll skip right along and uh, it's getting a little bit cooler. So it's going to be an enjoyable downhill and uh, my man is happy. You happy? You happy? Hey, you know what you got there, a tick? What you got there? See you on the bottom. See you at the bottom. Thanks, guys. See you at the bottom. Oh, man. It's so quiet and peaceful coming down. The sun is dropping, and it's just hear jets in the sky, airplanes, crickets, gust breathing, my footsteps. Taking our time. Another little ro old road that leads to another hill. That dragonfly. I don't know if you guys can see him. Hello, buddy. We're getting there. It's getting dark through here. We haven't seen much of anything really. We've seen a few people up there on the hill or on top of the mountain and uh, a couple people going down when we were coming up. Just some birdies and dragonflies. This is the time of night where uh, the deer might come out, or I know the, the owl that lives up here. I see sometimes. Um, you can hear him. Light breeze. This road's all dug up. There's that wall when we were coming up. I've hiked this during the winter time. And uh, it's extremely icy. It's extremely fun though too. I remember putting cleats on and going up and down. I was doing some training up here and uh, I think I did like three laps up and down so up down up down up down and uh actually think I hurt myself that day not very smart but uh I like challenges you know hope you guys like challenges hope this gets you out sometimes I enjoy making videos and Bringing this guy with me. So Gus is a little over two years old. 
He's a Basenji mix. I think he has some Beagle in him because he definitely barks. He's a barker. Full bred Basenjis don't bark, but he barks. Trust me. This guy right here. Right, guys? Hey. Yeah. We're halfway down, guys. Squirrels. Gus is excited. What is that, Gus? What is that? So on these shorter hikes, I usually bring my my running pack. I have a side pocket that I carry my keys and uh, my wallet and stuff. And uh, I usually bring two waters. Um, so my GoPro died on the way down so what I was going to tell you was uh, what I carried up the mountain and um, as far as my water on short hikes I only carry about two waters depending on how hot it is and also um, my camera gear um, bags for him just uh, enough snacks to go to and from, um, but it all depends. It all depends on how far I'm going and whatnot. But that's all I was gonna say. We made it down um, safely, and uh, we made it just before it got dark. And um, I'll go over and pass over to Gus. He's doing good. He's uh, pretty uh, tired now. Here he is. Thanks for joining. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me, guys. He's all tired out now. What are you doing? Did you like the hike? Did you like the hike? It's his spot. It's his spot. See you on the next video. Right? On the next hike. We'll see you next time. See you later, guys.